Good afternoon. My name is Guillermo Acosta, and I'm, or Guillermo Acosta Rule, and I am participating in the Challenge 2014 program at Georgia Tech. And this is my interactive learning video assignment. And for this video, we have the problem where we are given the function h of u is equal to tangent original was tangent cube of the square root of u squared minus one. That, and we are give we are prompted to find h prime of u, which is simply asking for the derivative of the function h of u. So to start, we can simply separate the cube from the tangent, bring it to the function. In a sense, tangent cube of x is the same as tangent of x cubed, which we, have, which we fixed. And now, we can't take the derivative of all this all at once. We have to do it in parts, given by the chain rule. And the chain rule specifies where if you have the function of a function, like f of g of x, in this case we have tangent of the inside, first we take the derivative of the outside function and leave it as, uh, th leave the inside function as is. Then take the out inside function, bring it out, and take the derivative of that. So f of g of x, the derivative would be f prime of g of x times g prime of x. So to start, we take the derivative of tangent, which is secant squared. And so we take, the, we have our f prime secant squared of g of x, the inside, which is, in this case is the cube of square root of u squared minus 1. Now, we are not done because now we have to take out the g of x and um, take the derivative of that. So we take the inside and we simplify it by turning the um, the radical, the square root, into an exponent of one half. And we put it to the three, we get an exponent of three halves. And we just leave the inside. And here we have the same thing, but in this case it's the power rule. Where x of to the nth power the derivative of that is n, where x times that power to the power of the original minus 1. So x to the nth power, the derivative of that is x times n to the power of n minus 1. And so in this case, the exponent is our f, is our f of x. The inside is our g of x. So we just simply take the derivative of our outside function. So by the power rule, we multiply by the exponent, we get 3. We get 3 over 2. We get 3 over 2. We get 3 over 2. We carry this over. So 3 over 2. 3 over, 3 over and 3 over 2 minus 1 is 1 half. So we get an exponent of 1 half. But we're not done. Now we go for the final step. Taking u squared minus 1. And now we put it in here. And now, when taking the derivative of multiple functions separated by a plus or minus sign, um, you take them individually, term by term. So here, we'll start with u squared. Same with the power rule. u squared, we multiply by 2. And then we take u to the n minus to the power subtracted by one. 
So in this case, we have 2u to the power of 2 minus 1, or to the first power, simply 2u. And constants, the derivative of any constant is 0. So we are left with a derivative of minus 1 is equal to 0. So we are just left with 2u. And so, since all this is multiplying, let's see what we can um, simplify. Now this is fairly simple because now we have this is all multiplying. However, we can't touch anything in the secant. So this is boxed in. So let's go ahead and write that down here. Secant squared of square root of u squared minus 1 cubed. Now, since we're multiplying these, let's see what we can do. Well, from the start, we see that we can take out that we can multiply these two fairly easy. And if we're going to do that, we can go ahead and take out the 2's. Because it would be 3 times 2u divided by 2. So we can take out the 2's there. They cancel each other out. And now, we are sim and now there's really nothing else we can do. So now we are left with 3u. And now, since it's 1 half, we can go back to the square root. So 3u to the square root of u squared minus 1. And that is our final answer. Again, my name is Guillermo Costa Rule. I'm participating in the Challenge Program 2014 at Georgia Tech, and this has been my interactive learning video. Thank you very much.